Hello everyone and welcome to this lecture about how to create ISO value map in ArcGIS. So we will see how to create an ISO value map from point station or from location or point. So here in this folder I have an example of a data or a sample of my data. So in the field data Excel file. So let's open it to show you. So here I have some stations represented by its coordinate X and Y. And here in this column, we have elevation. So this column for you, it could represent, for example, grid of ele some elements like copper or gold or other. As it can also represent temperature or magnetic data or gravimetric data. So if you want to create, for example, is a value of the Boger anomaly. So I already imported this Excel file into my ArcGIS project. So here it is represented by this feature stations. So let's open it again just to show you. Here I have X and Y and we have this column represent my data. So first of all, we need to convert my point station into a raster data so using interpolation technique so there is several interpolation technique like region spline or atw so it is depending your project so here under spatial analyst tools so expand it and go to interpolation so so under interpolation we have some technique to interpolate my data. We have EDW and Krigin, Spline, Nature Neighbor. So let's select just to show you uh, EDW interpolation technique. So double click on EDW or Krigin. And here in the input point feature, so this import station feature. And here for Z value, so you select your data it could be as i said before grid or uh, gravimetric data or other and for output raster so let's define the output raster so here you need to add extension of your raster and click on save and for output seal size so the seal size it represents the pixel width and length so so let's for example select uh, five meter and click on ok so once the raster is created so now we can convert my raster into a contour line so this contour line represent or this contour line link each value or the same value which we call it ISO value. So, so to do that, so you go to surface toolbox. So expand surface toolbox and double click on contour. So click on contour and here import your raster. For output, so click on output and give it a name. And click on save so here contour interval so it is depending to your resolution or your project so let's for example here as, a, as it is just a sample no, nothing else so let's select for example 10 meter and click on ok good So now I created my ISO value map. So you can, for example, let's do some other tip for you. So properties and categorize my lines. And I will add in description of this video and how to categorize your contour line. So 
So we go to sample and see categories. Here we have to counter at all value. Click on apply. Just to show you how to difference between the contour line. And you will find in description a complete tutorial about how to categorize your contour line. So thank you for watching and see you for next video.